One of the interesting things about the David Douglas story is his position in a long and honourable line of plant collectors. I I'm standing here in, in St Anne's at Lambeth. No, it's not, it's St Mary's at Lambeth. The, the parish church of, of Lambeth, just across the, the river from Westminster. In, in this spot, some 26,000 people are buried, including six archbishops of Canterbury, Queen Elizabeth I's grandmother, and, and William Bly of Mutiny on the Bounty. But what we're really interested in is, is this particular tomb here. And, and in here, there are the two John Tradescants, the two John Tradescants, both of them plant collectors in North America in the early 1600s. John Tradescant the Younger collected in Virginia in 1630 and brought his collections back here to, to what became Tradescant's botanical garden and eventually the, the nucleus of the Ashmolean Museum in, in Oxford. Fast forward in time to about the, the, the mid to late 1700s and John and William Bartram around Philadelphia were doing broadly the same thing and established Bartram's Garden just outside Philadelphia. But William Bartram was the king's botanist in North America and a very eminent figure who travelled extensively down that eastern seaboard. D D David Douglas visited William Bartram at Bartram's Garden near Philadelphia in 1823 but he was disappointed in his visit because Bartram by then was 84 and had very inconsiderately died six weeks before David Douglas got there. But there's a long, long tradition which continues before Douglas and after Douglas of plant collectors still continuing to this day.